hey what's up guys and on this short video i want to show you how to set a stop loss when you're on binance um, stop loss or stop limit is a simple way by which we set a particular price at which an automatic trade is made on our behalf especially in times when we are away from the market and we can't monitor things manually so for instance you bought an asset at a particular price maybe for this pair which is um, ADA USDT you bought ADA maybe at one dollar for instance and now you have set a target to sell at a dollar fifty and so what will happen is that you would you need to go here where on the desktop is on the right hand side on mobile you should be able to see somewhere at the bottom and you should be on the cell there are three options in the cell options the limit market and stop limit what we are going to be using is the stop limit uh, market is going to be you selling at a particular price instantly and you're going to pay higher fees for that but the beauty of a stop limit is that we pay lesser fees because we are we are considered market makers and so that is a better option for you in terms of making an automatic trade um, how this works is this so we have the stop price the stop price is so we want instance we want to sell at remember we said we want to sell at one dollar fifty so the stop price is going to be um, so if we're expecting the market to drop uh, and is higher than this particular amount so let's say the market's currently at um, $1.51. Okay, let's say we want to sell at $1.49. So we set the stop price at $1.15. And that is the price that goes into the record books. And that is um, at that point in time, Binance starts to monitor the market for us. And then the next thing is to set the limit price. The limit price should be lower than the stop price, which is um, 150 here. And let's make this maybe 149 and then we set the total amount of tokens that we want to sell at that particular price it's flexible you can use the slider or you can use um, you can type in manually within um, this field here and once you click on sell you are asked to confirm this particular um it has this order confirmation model shows up where you have to confirm that you want to place the order to sell at a particular price and that is as simple as it gets once it gets to one dollar fifty binance will start to monitor the system at one dollar forty nine it would most likely try to sell your asset at that price and i said most likely because sometimes it might fail but you are you have a better chance of selling in a fast in a uh, fast crashing market with a stop limit than you are with market or with a limit and that is probably subject for another tutorial but for right now if you are going to be away from the market for a long period of time you, this is your best bet in order to make a stop limit or a stop loss uh, another piece of advice i need to give you is that yeah, for newbies you need to be trading against a stable coin stable coins include usdt usdc or busd these stable coins have a much more stable value and so when you sell your tokens into those stable coins the value remains the same until you come into the system and decide whatever it is you want to do with your with your stable coins if you were trading against um, say btc or ethereum unfortunately those assets are very volatile as well and so their prices may begin to fluctuate in accordance with what the market forces are saying you do not want that you want to have a specified amount that you can decide to make do with in any way you deem necessary after you come back into the system so that is the tutorial for this particular video thank you very much for sticking out on this one goodbye for now